Troy and Arbed in The Sims. In this episode, I'm looking at the community study room and the study group themselves, so stay tuned. So this is basically part one of my community build. I am only five episodes into series three of community. So basically I plan to add more to this build as I watch more of the show. Okay, so here is the study room. And uh, this is one of the main areas that I think is almost finished at this point. So I've got a lot of the furniture in here already. Uh, Colour scheme I'm all happy with. Got a few posters and stuff going up. Overall, I'm quite pleased with this. Um, I think it does look like it does in the show. I really like this part of the set in the show. It just feels homely. And uh, it was one of the main things I built first. And it's one of the only areas which is actually nearly finished. But the problem I've had with this is that I don't know what goes around this room. So the minute is pretty bare. I've got a bit of the, um, there's like a welcome desk and a computer area. I've added those in. But I'm a bit stuck on what goes in the rest of this zone. And uh, this is what I mean by I'm going to have a second part to this video. Because I feel like I need to watch more of the show to try and like, catch glimpses of these areas. I feel like I can uh, recreate them. But for the main part, I've got this, the main study room area. That's finished, and I'm yeah, I'm happy with that. So I've tried to create as much of the college as I can, but I'm limited by the plot size. So I've just decided to go with two main buildings and then a bit of a kind of quad garden area. Um, and this is just using the wide shots from the show. I've tried to recreate it as best I can. Um, so I've got the study room in the kind of library building where this is. And then this other building, I think, will just be left open for classrooms, basically and then any other little location I can think of. But like I say, because I haven't got too far into the show, I don't actually know enough locations to fill out that area yet. So that is something, that's a work in development, and it's just completely empty building at the minute. But the, the library's a bit more there. Um, I'm happy with the outside of it. Um, I think there's a few differences in the building where in the pilot episode, it looked slightly different than it does in the later episodes, maybe because they couldn't get the same filming locations back. So there's a few inconsistencies that I'm trying to like work around with the build. Um, so I've had to create two entrances to the building. One which is how it looks in the pilot episode. And then another one which is the entrance they seem to use in like the later series. So that's on this side here. Okay, so apart from the main study room area, the only other area I've built so far is the canteen. And this seems to be as close as I can get it at the minute. Um, so we've got the actual seating area there, some uh, food stalls here, and some sort of additional seating here. Um, in the actual show, I think there's a kitchen to the left here, uh, but I might not have space to put that in, so I haven't quite worked out what to do with that yet. And uh, there's a there's a seating area here, a sofa, and there's some vending machines, and then a pool table, um, and that area I have not built yet. Uh, but that is like the next thing on the agenda and then trying to work out if I can build a very small kitchen on the side well, I'll have to uh, work that out but uh, yeah that's the canteen area um, so that and the study room that are those are the main areas I have built already and basically if you've got any suggestions of times in episodes where you see other locations in the building or like this outer region around the study area please let me know because that's going to really help building the rest of us. Okay, so here are the community characters. And as I said in the previous video, I'm not the best at creating sims. I much prefer the building side of it. So I get to a point where I just try and get the closest thing I can to what they should look like. Now, Britta, I'm actually quite happy with. I think she does look quite a bit like Britta. Um... Uh, with me, it's mainly the clothes that I have to try and get right. <laughs> and then clothes, hair, and then they start to look at least a little bit like the person. And I just try and get the face somewhat there and then uh, leave it at that. But with some of these characters, they are shockingly far away from how they should look. But Britta, it's a good start. She looks okay. Happy with Britta. Um, we'll move on to Annie. Not not too 
displeased with Annie. I think she looks sort of like uh, Alison Brie, um, but not not the best likeness, I think. Arbed, one of my favourite characters in the show. Um, I don't know. I don't know about my creation of Arbed here. Um, I think his, his jaw looks too defined somehow. Arbed himself has actually got quite a long, um, thin face. And uh, I think I was trying to replicate that at one point. I mean, it looked too cartoony. So this is where I've ended up. Um, the hair's not quite right. Uh, I mean, the whole thing's not quite right. But uh, it's the closest I've got. Surely, I really apologise for this. Um, uh, I just... It, I just yeah, she doesn't look anything like Shirley, does she? I feel really bad. <laughs> um, I couldn't quite get the right hairstyle. That didn't help. Um, I think the facial features look off, and I don't know how or why, so I can't fix it. Um, I maybe made her too fat. <laughs> Just the, there's a lot of wrong things here, and, I, and I'm sorry to her. We'll move quickly on to Jeff. Um, Jeff, I thought Jeff would be really easy to build, um, but he's actually quite difficult. It's weird because um, Joel McHale, he's like, he's not like full on conventionally attractive, but he almost is. And it's hard to then replicate that in The Sims because some Sims just look too perfect and and they just lack the kind of weirdness of an actual face. Um, and I think Jeff is one of those people that's like, He's almost quite conventionally attractive, but there's just something off. <laughs> Sorry, John McHale. Um And I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's his nose or whatever. So I tried to give him a weird nose and that just hasn't helped. Um, I'm not sure if the hair's quite right. I'm not sure if the costume's quite right. So yeah, that, that's the best I've got with Jeff. Troy. Troy's all right. I think his face looks a bit off, but um, I'm happy with the costume and the kind of uh, hair, I guess. Looking at this now, it looks like he's got a very small nose. And that doesn't quite work. <laughs> but um, can't go too wrong with Troy. Now, weirdly, I thought Pierce was going to be really difficult to build. Um, but actually, when I looked at these all again, I think Pierce is the closest one I've got. Um, somehow, I think that actually does look quite a lot like Chevy Chase. <laughs> um, I mean, even, even though the hair's not right, uh, I think once you put the glasses on, the kind of chin dimple... Um, the, the wrinkles and stuff, it just uh, on the costume as well. Uh, suddenly you kind of go like, oh yeah, that does actually look quite a lot like him. Um, so even if I've messed up the rest of them, I'm fairly happy with him. And that is the main cast of Community. So yeah, as I say, the actual build itself, um, I need to finish. But I'm happy with how it's going. And obviously the, the study room is the main area of the features in the show, and that's the, that's the area I've pretty much got done. So... It does already look quite a lot like community. And I, I'm quite a fan of the exterior of the building as well. Like, I like the fact that it's like a little quad. And the nice thing is, on my actual Sim, Sims game, I've turned it into a study spot. So when you're playing like the university uh, challenge, you can go and study at the actual Greendale College. So that's quite exciting. Um, and that is my community build. So please, if you've got any suggestions on how to make this better, please let me know. Um, or like I say, like if there's an episode where they run around the outside of the study room, that would be very useful because <laughs> that's the area I need to build next. Um, so thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more to come. Thank you for watching this episode of Building with Ben. Subscribe here for more coming soon.